Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Phoebe and today I'm just going to be doing my skincare routine and my eyebrows. So I am due to do some TLC to my face at the moment. <laughs> um, as you can see, we've had some pimpleage going on. Uh, not cool. So I am going to just go through what I've been using at the moment and do my morning, my morning skin routine and then dye my eyebrows and pluck them. So you guys can come along that journey with me. I am just going to tie up my hair and get started. So it is super cold here at the moment. <laughs> so I've been putting off washing my face for like an hour now because it's, I've just been waiting for it to get a little bit warmer because winter is my favorite season, but right now it's kind of killing me. Oh, that is so warm. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my water comes out boiling, like boiling. Um, I'm gonna start off with this like face wash I mixed myself. It is a charcoal based one. So I just put in charcoal tablets, um, crushed up. And then it's the face wash I've been using by Himalaya, which I'll show you guys now. A little bit of salt as well, and some facial oil. Now, I'm not gonna say that I recommend you guys make your own masks and washes because I don't want to, you know, say something that I can't really regulate. <laughs> but this is what I do and I leave it on for a bit. The charcoal starts to sort of dissolve. It's part of the texture and then the bit of salt that's in there is also the texture that just helps to scrub and cleanse the skin. And when my skin's breaking out, I really like adding salt to the face scrubs I'm using it and just leaving it on for a second. It really seems to help extract this, the oil from the skin and just like soothe it, calm it down a bit. But you can't use salt too often on your face and you also want to make sure you heavily moisturize if you are going to because it will strip your skin of everything. So I'm going to leave that on for like a couple minutes. I've got food in my teeth. Nice. Really nice. Why don't we catch up a bit? Um, life, wow, life, um, crazy, it's a crazy journey, I, <laughs> I look crazy too, so I really match up to it. Nothing is certain, is it? Um, anyway, I'm trying to figure a lot out at the moment, just seeing what I want to do with my life at the moment, um, I'm not working and at the moment I'm not studying either, so I need something to occupy my time that's not just YouTube videos, and, um, my brain needs a little activity as well. So I've been looking at studying and what I would want to study, what I can study, more importantly. And yeah, I'm just trying to figure all of that out. So I feel a bit overwhelmed at the moment and taking a moment to just like clear things up with myself, <coughs> excuse me, in the form of some sort of self-care is really important. Um, so yeah, I can only encourage you guys when you're going through like a hard time or a confusing time, uncertain, take a moment for yourself, make sure you have them every day and it just allows you to connect with your body and your mind and your soul and your spirit. <laughs> um, this is starting to dry up and tingle a little and when it tingles I know the salt's getting to work. So I'm going to leave this um, another minute or two and then wash this off. And when it's all off I like to take a warm wet face cloth <laughs> and just give some blood back into my skin, get the circulation, always go up and in circular motions because we want our faces to be lifted and if you do this every day, twice a day or whatever then you don't want to be pulling your face down because it is going to make a difference. Um, and I change my face cloth every second day because I imagine a lot of dead skin comes off right now when I do this. But it also helps my skin to clear up getting the blood flow to all the areas that need it. The other thing that really helps skin is to actually change your pillowcase every night. I don't, but like I'm alone. So I swap between both pillows. I turn them over and then I swap between them. So I guess, yeah, I, I guess a new side to the pillow every second day as well. But honestly, if you can change your pillowcase every day, it'll make the biggest difference to your skin and your hair. The face wash that I mixed into my little concoction was the Himalaya 
One, it is the Fairness Face Wash Natural Glow. It's got saffron and mint in it, so it's really good for the morning. It gives your face a nice boost, makes you feel awake. And then at the moment I've been using the African Extracts Rooibos Refreshing Toner. It is supposed to have witch hazel in it, or it does have witch hazel in it, so um, witch hazel is really good calming. Um, it's like an antioxidant, I think. And there goes the builders again. At the moment I've run out of cotton wool, so I am just putting this on with my fingers. That toner makes it feel so soft, and it makes it so ready for moisture. So I'm just putting on some eye cream. This is actually an oil. I think it's Oils for Life Revitalizing Eye Cream Gel by The Body Shop. I've had this for like too long. I think it needs to be replaced. Whilst that eye cream's on, I am actually going to do a mask. So I have just done toner. And you don't need to if you're going into a mask, but like I said, I really like this toner. And it seems to help my skin. It like makes it supple, makes it want to take in products that I put onto it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the face mask that I've been using as well. It's also Himalaya. And I can tell you the only reason everything's Himalaya at the moment is because when I went to the drugstore, they had a deal of like, buy three products and you get the cheapest one free. So this was my free product, which is the face mask. And it's actually really lovely. It's a new one by them. Neem and turmeric deep cleanses purifies the skin. The instructions were a bit confusing because there's another language on here. I think it's like Spanish or something. And it says, applique sous toi. No, this must be French. Never mind. Le visage. It's a le coup. <laughs> and the time was in the good of a message to share. 10 out of 15 minu minutes. Minutes. I don't know what if that's French though. Minutes. 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 This is ridiculous. Anyway, the English instructions don't say anything about 10 to 15 minutes. They just say, apply on wet face every day and gently massage in all over, avoiding the eye area and rinse off thoroughly and pat dry. That doesn't seem like instructions for a mask. That seems like instructions for a face wash. Um, in fact, that's exactly what my face wash says. Oh, that's cold. Anyway, this has little bits in it. And I've been enjoying it on my T-zone because, as you can see, I've been breaking out. And so I have been doing this um, every second day on my T-zone. Anyway, it looks pretty gross on the face, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of looks like, well, it looks like poo. Um, and I have to say, it doesn't smell the nicest. It does have a perfume, and I can only assume it's because it has a slightly weird... It has an earthy smell about it. Very earthy. If I knew what neem was, then I'd say it's very neemy. Neem has to be like seaweed or something, right? That's what it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to ignore the English instructions and <laughs> leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and then come back and see how you guys are doing. You should still be here waiting for me, so. I thought I'd show you guys how peaceful my days are at the moment. I have a slight confession. I left this on for way too long. So let's just get this the fuck off my face. <laughs> it is tight. It is tight up in here. I can't even imagine if I actually did my cheeks. <laughs> Don't laugh. I can't even look at my face. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh. That was sore. <laughs> Why do I do these things to myself? Like a normal person would just wash it off. <laughs> this isn't gonna look good on camera. I got my jumper in the water. I see what type of day this is gonna be. I see, I see. Okay, oh, the next step is to give your skin like a moment to just be like, whoa, what's what's just happened? It does a fucking hair here. Yeah. <laughs> so toner.
And I'm going straight into my, you guessed it, fucking Himalaya, um, light hydrating gel cream. Um, and hydration is different to moisture, guys, so I like to focus on something water-based in the morning that might control some oil production a little bit, which this claims to do. And then um, in the evening for my nighttime routine, I use their nighttime moisturizer or just something, in other words, that's oil-based. Uh, their nighttime moisturizer is not that amazing, I must admit. I haven't found an affordable moisturizer that I just love. I just haven't. This is the closest. I tolerate it. I, I like it. Winter melon and barberry fig, but I'm, I'm telling you, there's some sort of mint in there. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on. And it doesn't dry greasy. It dries matte. And I have to say, most matte creams I've ever used, I have not liked. Uh, including other ones from the Himalaya brand. Like, I still have this one. Natural Glow Fairness Cream with saffron. And I'm seriously not ever going to buy that again. It's horrid. No, that is horrid. I, I used it twice and I was just like, ew. So guys, I just brought you in closer. You can see the atrocity that is my skin at the moment. All these breakouts. And I go so red when I do my skin. So red. Um, the lighting from further away is just so much nicer. Anyway, I'm going to let this all settle, let my skin breathe, and then I will be back to do my eyebrows for you guys. In fact, eyebrows in a separate video, go click the next video, part two.